there's a, there is a systemic levels of grifting and scamming with the Georgian Legion. These two have been able to cultivate their own Timu scam grift thing that works for some stupid reason. But they would continue to target me with it, which is funny. Pitiful story from the fly. What happened with the fly this time? What did the fly do this time? Can we hear from this? Oh, I have it muted. So this is this is why I I developed an interest in the Georgian Legion situation. And well, Maria Report kind of handled it itself, to be honest. Like that, the Maria Report community handled it handled it handled it well in terms of the people calling it out. There was space held for the people to talk about it for twelve hours, damn near, maybe more. And they, everybody got to air out how they wanted to feel. And it kind of came to a nice conclusion for that Maria Report community. And now they're able to uh, thrive beyond it now. Okay? So that kind of came and went. But with these two, I've had this, this shit going on for two plus years now. And it doesn't stop. It literally doesn't. Like, I'll mention them in reference to them being grifters, lying, and scammers. Especially when talking about grifters, lying, and scammers. But they, con they continue to say shit at, like, they, they must not have anything else going on but to follow what I'm doing personally. Would you like to hear a pitiful story from the fly? This is their, this is their stream, you guys. Like and understand the Enforcer channel only talks about Ukraine or the Middle East and the wars. They don't have like a, they don't talk to their chat like the normal people. Like they're, they think they're radio hosts and they always have some big breaking thing happening, even if they just create it. So this is like in the middle of their Ukraine update. Like they'll, talk, they'll be talking about the war or they'll be talking about the, a map or something, and then they'll just, a joke about me, out of, literally out of nowhere. From the fly. Aw, man. When I was a baby, my parents abandoned me. Aw, man. And then I got adopted parents, and then they didn't like me, and they abandoned me. Aw, man. Nice. I haven't heard the adoption one in a while. The saga continues. Aww. Thank you, Lou, for the five. My viewers don't even like me. They're unsubscribing. Aww. There goes another hundred. Aww. Damn, they're watching my subscriber count. It's funny, it's because I actually told the I actually told people to unsubscribe if they're like diehard Trump fans. I, I like literally put it out there. I was like, if because like I was getting sick of it. Because any Trump story that would come up, I'd be like, I'd see like two or three subscribers leave every time. And it just happened for like a month. So I was just like, finally just Whoever here is a diehard Trumper to the end, you just fuck off because I'm going to grill that guy and I'm going to talk about him how I want to talk about him. If that's going to hurt your feelings, then unsubscribe. And I, and I put it out in the community tab, pretty, pretty blatant about it. So it's kind of cute. They're following my subscriber account. Oh man. oh, man. I guess you shouldn't buy so much Coke. It's not good for your health. Mm. Oh, OK, so I guess I'm still buying cocaine. No, I haven't done that in like five years now. No, it'll be six years next year, to be honest. Uh, and if you guys don't know, I've been been clean from a cocaine addiction. Uh, 2019 was the year I went to treatment for it, and got it was perfect timing because it was the year before I started my media company. So I got all clean and good to go before all of this. A good thing that happened. What happened here now? Uh, Enforcer won't fundraise for Razom because they didn't put them in their newsletter. What? There was another Ukrainian uh, nonprofit that uh, that we ended up dropping as well because we ended up talking to them behind the scenes and the amount of disrespect that they would just dish out in just dealing with them was insane. And you know, if y'all go through all the uh, all the guys, Resolm is the group that we go to the action summits with, or the the DC that march we filmed last year. That's that's cope. Yeah, they don't like you probably because you're a lying, grifting, scamming piece of shit. Fundraisers we've run. Y'all will figure out what that group was because we used to fundraise for them like every other fundraiser. And then we just dropped them because we got into like a conversation with them behind the scenes. And it was the like, it was the goofiest thing ever. Like, like to be entirely honest, we reached out to them um, to ask them about something because a hot dog man came on and said that he spoke with this group and that they tried. I'm hot dog man, guys. You understand their code words. I'm the hot dog man, so they're talking about me. Trashed on us. Uh, and so we reached out to him and asked, did y'all trash on us? And they said, no, actually, we're a big fan of y'all's work. Uh, could you oh, cap? Absolute cap. Y'all send us like the complete total. Damn. So they heard me talk to my own stream about how Resolm doesn't respect the enforcer. And then they reached out personally to Resolm about it. Dang, dude, I own them. I am their father, actually. That y'all have, and when, in fact, we'll put y'all in our next newsletter that's going out. And Dude, I, I create content for the Enforcer. 
Without me, what would they talk about? You know, like a huge shout out, which we didn't really care about because, you know, we're not doing it for a shout out. But we said, sure. So then we compiled the number and sent it to them. And then a couple of weeks went by and they didn't put us in the newsletter. Uh, and so then I think, Matthew, you reached out to him and asked, uh, you know, we're just wondering, you know, like, are we going to be in the newsletter? And then I think they got really rude with us. when we Thousands of brain dead fucking morons listen to this every night, you guys. Thousands. Every night. I can't even tolerate this, like them explaining a situation, but thousands will tune in because I have no fucking He asked, although they volunteered to do that and we didn't even want them to do it. And we were just seeing. X Enforcer viewers, why? What, what drew you to him? If they were going to do it. Because I know y'all are in the chat. What, what drew you to him? And so then after that, we were like, we we're not fundraising for him again because the, it, it was just bizarre. Like it was, it was a really bizarre thing. I forgot what they were even talking about because he just spoke. He just literally repeated himself eight times at the end there. We have been able to get confirmation from Razom for Ukraine, which we're running a fundraiser for tonight, that they have been actually receiving the uh, the donations that this channel has made in the thousands and tens of thousands of dollars back in the past. Uh, and actually thanked us for our efforts, the Lee Spring Army as well, thanked all of us for our efforts in fundraising, uh, and also said that they were going to be including us in one of their newsletters that's going to be coming out here in the near future, uh, thanking the Lee Spring Army. Oh, and the yeah, this is from last year. That never happened. None of that happened happened none of that ever happened that's why and they heard me talk about it and laugh and then they were like oh so i'm gonna then they reached out to razam personally because what they said happened what they said was gonna happen never happened and they were hurt by that lsa international disaster relief what's this one if you want something done right you've got to do it yourself and i think that if we were able to go out there as the lsa and do our own thing um, that would be incredibly good. I think that would be absolutely incredible. We could make it an American thing first, and I want to explain why it would. Um, we could do America. Maybe as I saw uh, one of our channel legends having a bit of an issue with us and saying it alienates foreign viewers, which is true, but let me explain how this would work. We have to have a proving ground, and considering that Matthew and me are Americans, and the majority of the audience are Americans, about 55% of them are, it would make more sense to start off the LSA as a physical force in America. Oh, okay, they're going to they're gonna be IRL? Bet. Where? America, and then expand it abroad. If they show up anywhere IRL, I'm pulling up. If they do any IRL activities, I'm pulling up to it broad from there so we would start it out in america doing domestic disaster relief and such things as that and if it ended up being really successful how are they going to be disaster relief when they are a disaster well and it ended up being really popular then we could expand it into foreign countries the first <laughs> what hold on oh wow hold on i almost just got taken out there <clears throat> what did they just say they're going to take it in they're going to try to do some inner some humanitarian work with their lsa Build prominence and then take it international for what? Expanded into foreign countries. Like the where? For who? First country would be Canada because Can for Canada, what the fuck? Why? Canada is the next largest viewership of the LSA, so there would be a decent manpower pool there to build from. For what are you guys gonna do? Grift off the wildfire, wildfire situation? Or you know, some kind go of go put LSA flags up in the devastated wildfire areas? Have a disaster relief group. Although there it really isn't a lot of disasters that happen in Canada. From oh, what a fucking dumb ass! What a stupid statement that was! What a dumb statement that was! I'm sorry, I live in the state of Minnesota, and we definitely feel the ramifications of the wildfires of Canada. Can't breathe here. What a dumb statement that was. These people watch this guy for news, dude, for updates. Like, they really think they're getting good information from this guy. And he's like, nothing nothing happens in Canada. Ever. Like, from what a we fucking know, dumb. There still could be one. And then we would expand on over into Europe. Which okay, so the non-existing disaster. So again, this, this is such a clown thing. They'll talk about aid trips to ukraine as if they're vacations they'll say nothing there's no devast nothing devastating ever happens in canada they're just up there s drinking maple syrup and having a great time i guess which is pretty much the remaining bulk of our viewership and then there are smaller contingents of viewership in australia and new zealand but they only make up i think like aussies you have a responsibility if the enforcer shows up on your island okay nine to ten percent each and that responsibility is to fucking extradite them back to the United States. Uh, and then Europe makes up pretty much about 30%. So if we made a European LSA division and then we made a North American LSA division. These guys are fucking playing Hearts of Iron 4 with vibes right now. They're like, fuck yeah, dude. This is what I thought of in history class.
we drew on our drew in our notebooks thinking of how we're going to have factions in the countries and shit a division and then we made a north american lsa division this is what happens when you play too much video games and you don't do anything else like i play a lot of video games i play a fuckload of video games but i do a lot of irl work too a lot i play sports okay i'm, I'm a fan of teams of sports teams i touch grass i volunteer i travel okay very important to do but if you only play video games this is what happens okay that would work you, you have a map of the world up while you have a pro while you're covering the war of ukraine and you're talking about some some fucking larping thing of a, a, a organization of larpers that are gonna do things in in different countries based upon their where their followers are from damn new grift unlocked huh work the best at least logically with you know like kind of like feeling it out and figuring out how it will work and then expanding it to be an international thing that spans across the western world that's that's hilarious that would be a pretty cool thing and of course i'm just telling you all this it's not like a like an ironed out plan of course not because it's a concept of a plan just like your just like their leader make that very clear this isn't anything ironed out or like for of course sure. not it's vibes it's guess it's just it's just some random shit just some just some entertainment value for your stream but if we could ever do something like this i would love to do it i think that would be incredibly cool to actually see like a group out there and i'm pulling up and ruining your entire thing i promise you they want to if they organize anything i'm pulling up to it and i'm ruining it i will blare my i'll, I'll blare my horn whatever shit whatever cleanup shit they're doing i don't give a i will fucking ruin the entire thing flag of the lsa and what all that stands for in the support of western interests and support of the united states and our interests around the globe i hope they do this actually yes do irl stuff please and actually see them out there on the ground yes oh actually no the enforcers won't they won't show up they'll send they'll send their best and they'll go down to i'll go down and i'll go down with you and helping out and improving the lives of americans and really oh boy in the world that it yeah. may have been stricken by some sort of a terrible situation i think that would be an amazing way for i agree i hope the enforcers do irl stuff i really do that would be so much fun the lsa to stand up to its kind of convictions or its purpose in a way that actually would physically affect people in something that the oh L there will be physical effects for sure let's say wouldn't be fundraising for and then giving off to another group we would be fundraising for it and then managing it ourselves oh great idea we're not gonna fundraise they got dude they they did it though hey listen fuck hey then they figured it out they figured the game out on youtube that's for sure they got the pro Ukraine audience and the motherfuckers that were, oh, dude, wow. Uh, we'll, we'll just handle it all ourselves. Yeah, exactly. That would be just incredibly cool to me, but we'll have to see if I can actually do that or not. Well, actually, we'll have to see if Matthew and me can do that or not, uh, because that probably would be a pretty freaking big undertaking. Like, Yeah, and you, I would make sure that you would never show your face in public again, because I would publicly embarrass the shit out of you in person. IRL, pulling up. What else we got here? We had more posts here. What day? LSA is a nonprofit. What is this? Uh, LSA nonprofit? A private island. But what if the Lee Spring Army turned into a nonprofit organization? Like Lee Spring Army was kind of separate from the channel. Why do they talk about their Leaf Spring Army as if they're like some Avengers team that's just like fucking ready to be activated? Like they're just they're like the LSA is just a bunch of sleeper agents just ready to fucking like why like what is this? but it was still managed by me uh, and Matthew. But it was a nonprofit that people could donate to, and it ended up helping out in countries that were uh, sanctioned by the LSA. So, like, say, the United States and Britain. On like countries sanctioned by the LSA. Like, humanitarian things. I think that'd be really cool, you know, help out with, like, tornado relief here in America, hurricane relief, earthquakes, you know, things like that. I think that'd be really cool to have a actual group that did that. Yeah, there, there, there is that. There's the volunteer organizations and entities within each local municipal. And, and, and this guy ran for office and he's a politician. Yeah, I think that should, that should, that would be great. You know, you, the, his little LSA shit would be in the way. Like an incel. You imagine, imagine Enforcer Matt going out there into the hurricane devastation area and being told to move a log or something. Fucking thing would probably break his bicep. Like you'd go to lift a log on the ground and his fucking arm would like you dislocate his shoulder trying to pick up a log on the ground. And Enforcer Andrew would be winded walking not even a half mile. 
um, our way, you know, and so that way, you know, people would hopefully trust it a little better and like it. Uh, and in other countries too, like the UK, you know, you, you could do stuff over there or in Germany uh, or in Canada or Australia, you know, the Blee Spring Army could become a real global force of good. And what was that noise? The fucking dehumidifier in the background? Humanitarian way. Uh, CPAP machine? It would certainly help out a lot. Um, probably, like, probably wouldn't end up helping out much in Ukraine, but it certainly would help out the Western uh, Of course it wouldn't help out much in Ukraine, because you, you've been trying to redirect everybody into your little America first MAGA thing this entire time. Yeah, I know, for sure. Definitely. It's the, Ukraine's, just, Ukraine's just been a, a, a way to get money. I don't give a fuck about Ukraine. Zero fucks. The most money they can make, the better. The more they can laugh at uh, civilians and the military and aid workers and everybody, the better. More money. They'll make more. Oh, man. What's this one now? What is this one? That's, that's me. Merck had a woman in his car. Oh, wow. Damn, they're following my Instagram too, huh? Get a Nona. Oh, a no oh, who's a Nona? Me and... I'm going to go and do something, and because it's there's only your business. Oh, I mean, because there's a woman in the car with me, I'm going to take a picture of her just to make it seem like I'm actually having some female attention. Oh, I mean, <laughs> like type shit. Do you know what I mean? Mercado, Mercado, you're contributing to this. Both. This is a both sides problem. Mercado, you're just causing drama by by reacting to this. You're causing this is going to hurt Ukraine. Yeah. Aww. Mercado, Mercado, and the enforcer do this. Oh man, I got near a woman for the first time in four years. I had to take a picture. It was freaking surreal. Aww. Oh dear. Oh man. Do you guys think they've ever been around a girl? Like, I'm, I'm just like within five feet of them. I've, uh, I, I think enforcer Andrew, when he sees a girl that's like good looking, he will run away. And then Enforcer Matt, I think, likes guys. So I think that's how it goes. So I think Enforcer Andrew does like women, but he's an incel. And then I think Enforcer Matt's actually just into into guys. So, it's, but which is okay. It's absolutely fine. Oh dear me! He said, "Oh goodness, uh, a female. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this. Uh, uh, he's usually run them all off, but uh, for this time, someone has been gullible enough to get around him. This is a, a terrible mistake. Oh dear! Uh, they will find out later. That was a terrible move. Oh, they should have known better than that. Oh, but dear me, they do make quite blunders. Oh dear. Type shit. I mean, I don't even. There's. I don't even know what to say to that." I mean, jealous, I guess, like projection. Um, I know they, I, it seems like they, it seems like I get to live the life they want to have. I'm not saying I have like a glamorous life. Fucking kind of tired of it sometimes, to be honest. But boy, it seems like a lot of the stuff that we got going on here, they're pretty jealous about and they wish they could have a piece of that, but they they can't because they're incel millionaire babies that were raised to be right wing America first. Fucking Nazis almost. Dr. Disrespect Diddy and the Hot Dog Man. This is stuff I've missed. Compilation of several instances where they imply Merck is a perv, triggered by Merck's mustache. Uh -huh. I mean, that that mustache is kind of like that, you know, that mustache, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, dude. I'm just looking at it over here and I'm just trying to process that. At that point, you just got to be clean shaven. Like, you can't look like that. Like, you're going to go around, you're going to have people hiding their children or something. That's not a good look. Destiny Edgington said, the pervert mustache. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, uh, it looks like you might want to be in some movies or something. You know what I mean? The looks like I should be in, in what? What type of movies? Pamphlet actually talked about how predators pretty much. And even like the gifted icon of class, appreciate that. Know, like, and, and so it's like, well, if you weren't like a predator up till that point. This yeah, like, why are they looking at the mustache? Look, it's literally like a tutorial on how to be a predator. It's like, it's like someone just gets off the train. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do in my life. They get that pamphlet. Oh, thanks for the idea. That's great. And then they just go wandering off in the oh, line. It's like, it's like, no, 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 no. It's like, we don't want that. It's like, no, no, no. Just don't hand out the pamphlets. You make everyone feel bad or you give the people ideas. So just don't do it. Man, a hot dog, man. You hand that to hot dog, man. It's not like a warning. He's like... Oh, is this how it's done? <laughs> it's like, whoa, Jack, hold on a <laughs> no, minute. Hold no, up. You, you hand it to him, you hear that Among Us. Ding, 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 ding. It's like, a dude, get it away from him. It's like, that's... What's, the, what's that noise for? What am I doing with that noise? It ain't going to be good. And that's why he shaved off that goatee, man. He got one of those while he was over there. He's like, and now I have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. But anyways. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Hot Dog Man. If people don't like the films. You know what? You know what? I don't get. I mean, I was waiting for the joke there. I mean, yeah, mustache. 
I mean, it is what it is. I was waiting for the joke there. It didn't really happen. It's kind of weird. It's even better, Matthew, is that the doctor disrespect thing happened, right? Like, and he, and he admitted it pretty much. And so then Hot Dog... They made... live stream their Canva. See how they make their explosions on the live... Look at how they... Look at... See how they make their explosions for their thumbnails. So that way they, they get extra attention on the videos. Because on YouTube, you need, like, clickbait thumbnails to get a lot of attention and to get viewers. See how they have like the explosions already ready to go in Putin's face for the next one. Nice. And went, he's my hero. And then went and shaved oh, his goatee. Oh, like, oh, like. Could someone explain what the fuck they're talking about? They're talking about when I shaved my beard and only had my mustache left. I did that when I was coming home from Ukraine. I was like, let me try this out. Something different. So they're talking about that. You know, like, how in the world do you work that? At, like, that is that is the worst time in the world to get a mustache identical to Doctor Disrespects. Like that is the worst time ever. I think there might be some. Uh, it might be more than a coincidence. It might actually be intentional. What if he was like? What if it's actually like that's his idol or something like that? It could Dude, be. What if he's one of those? What if he's one of those people? You know what I mean? Like you know, like the like the ones that sound like there's some kind of a uh, an instrument that's used in cartography. If you know what I mean? Like the ones that are on a piece of paper that you lay out. And you look at and it shows you like the world, you know, in and the It's so funny because like I actually have tweets directed at Dr. Disrespect personally for what he did. Like and I quote tweeted him and also reported on Dr. Disrespect's actions on my stream, like completely. But that's that's I'm a I'm a fan of Dr. Disrespect though. That's funny. The abbreviation of that stands for something that's very questionable. I don't know what that means, but I'll just I'll I'll go with it. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yep. Yeah. Yep, that's about the summary of the entire stream, Enforcer Matt. I don't know what that means, but I'll go with it. Enforcer viewers, quote. That's an LSA certified quote right there. I don't know what this is, but I'm going with it. They have, uh, they're pretty excited. They have the radio voice. You know, what if he did it because oh. he's one of those? Like, what What if? Uh, it could be. Could oh, be. Oh, man, it could be. Oh, oh we don't know. Man, it could be. You're really mature for your age. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, you know. That's really weird. That's, are they, they're doing pedophile jokes on their YouTube stream about Ukraine and they're coming up with it themselves. They're coming, it's like, they're coming, they're, they're creating that. Like they're creating those words about you look mature for your age. Like who can, who creates that in their brain? Not me. That's words that I've never, I even, I'm quoting what they're saying right now, but that those words have never just naturally came out of my mouth to like try to describe a situation. That's pretty weird. Uh, it could be. Could oh, be. Oh, man, it could be. Oh, we don't know. Oh, man, it you're, could be. You're really mature for your age. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, and then they think that's funny, too. Because they they think they think that they're doing a bit, and then they think what they just said is funny. So somebody's saying, you look mature for your age, and, and there's a joke to them. It's not a serious situation. Oh, oh. They I feel like he should use some of the money that his viewers give them, uh, give him to pay for free trips to Ukraine. I feel like he should use that money <laughs> for some uh, mental counseling or some therapy or something. Because I don't know what's wrong with that guy, but he really does have some severe issues. Like, like it's, I would say, like some people, like I'm not saying it's like a mental illness. I'm saying the guy is insufferable and he needs to go talk to a professional because only a professional could help that guy out at this point. It's kind of like projection. <clears throat> it seems like projection because, like, I don't know. Having the map of Ukraine on the screen with a stream that is talking about the war only, and you're taking time to do this during a, a, a supposed Ukraine stream. You get, like, look at the title of my stream, Afternoon Chill. I'm talking about whatever the fuck I want to today. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Kind of different to be doing that. Point. I think he's so far gone and so far lost. He really does need some true professional help. Um, but I have a feeling that if you took him to the doctor, they'd be like, oh dear, I've never seen quite a condition like this. It's, uh, it's not in the textbooks. <laughs> We're going to put his face next to insanity and uh, put him in a textbook. <laughs> no, man, they're, they're going to sit there and put his picture right next to Dr. Disrespect. It's going to be a spot the difference picture. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man, oh. you stop it. He's not spot the difference. This is what passes his content. That's crazy. I couldn't imagine giving a minute of my time to this, like actually as like a, as if I'm receiving this information as like, this is a good source. I still have people to this day that are commenting on my, who is the hot dog man video, 
which is like it's going up in views but i still have people to this day comments can i like i had no idea that they were like this it's like dude what are you watching every day then this this is an example of how uh a cult can be created i mean you're clearly listening to harassment of an individual there it's because they called me the hot dog man to avoid like using my name but you can clearly see how people that are um, if you think they're here to support ukraine or support a stream that's talking about ukraine in a in a positive way i guess because at least like like i always say they're grifting and they're lying and they're scamming but they're doing it in the pro-ukraine light and not the pro-russian light which obviously is another grift and scam itself like if you cover the war and you take a anti-ukraine stance you can absolutely obviously grift and be a botnik for sure like there's and you probably make more money doing that but they found a way to do it in the opposite way um yeah, it's just, it's just wild. Like you, it, it shows you the example here, and I guess this is why I'm playing it for many that watch the Georgian Legion stuff, and how you could think, how could this be possible that people can be in a, in a space that is so toxic, like that Hogwarts thing? This is like the YouTube version of that Rochette space, the Hogwarts thing. There, there's definitely some misogyny in this too. Not maybe in this clip, but they do do that. But a lot of their their time when they collect super chats is dedicated to just this type of shit and they'll make money doing this for like two hours straight he says i don't want hair in my hot dogs and one from the chat y'all hey <laughs> thanks so much for your support and oh man you're not gonna be getting hair in your hot dogs because i shaved to get a mohawk like mr t and then i got a mustache like dr disrespect oh man the allegations might be true <laughs> but beyond that i gotta thank you so much for the support and they're also not going to let some weird guy do, who gives off very odd vibes go in there. Because he's like, what will he do? He could do anything. I mean, he's got the whole Dr. Disrespect mustache and everything. Get ready for some... So they really focused on that doc... <laughs> was this all on like one stream? No, it's multiple streams. Dang. So I was, I was compared to Dr. Disrespect for a while on that stream, I guess. Diddy jokes over like the next week or two because that's the only thing I got to work with right now. But we can see here. Nobody ever questioned how I got the name Diddy. Like nobody ever questioned that. Like when I, when I, I don't even know who the guy was. I was like, Diddy. I'm like, that sounds like someone that could be a little bit worrisome around someone's children or something. I'm not sure if I'd trust him by name Diddy. Man, I, I wouldn't trust. Uh, I wouldn't trust uh, him, and I wouldn't trust anyone with like a like a doc hot dog man. Say the words. Your disrespect, kind of like a mustache thing going on, you know. Like neither of those would I trust. And uh, you know, man, there's someone out there with a kind of a thing going on like that. Uh, someone who likes hot dogs. But you know thank you. Do what you're told, as you say on your stream. You'll do what you're told. You can talk about me. Yep. Say the words. Dude, without me, they have nothing. So there's that's one thing to think of. Like, I am definitely providing lots of hours of content for them. Damn, dude. I, I guess I guess fans come in all types of ways. I have fans on my social media. I got fans in my own YouTube stream, and it's cool to have other YouTuber fans, I suppose, right? That's how it goes. But, yep, that's the... That's just, like, the... That's just a little bit of it. Like, there's been definitely some way serious situations, and it's been way worse. But, I mean, that's just, like what got me interested in the Georgian Legion stuff and seeing people get harassed around that because same situation here when I was asking for help and like assistance with this thing, I received the same energy from very popular, prominent YouTubers to this day. And to this day, I'm told Mercado, you got to stop or you're causing problems. Mercado, if you can't talk about the two YouTubers that are like that fucking, you're going to you're just causing problems. Moderator Ali will go and cry, dude. dude. All right. Well, Let's not end on a let's not end on a bad one. I don't want to end on an upsetting note with the enforcers because they're I mean they're just going to continue to do that as much as you as much as I ignore it or don't even like respond back with like uh, like a stream title at them. I mean they're obviously going to continue doing that and it is what it is I suppose right because it's all for Ukraine whatever is the most uh, peaceful situation for that. All right. I want to play another one from Brent with MAGA. Speaking of the enforcers, free lunch at school, dude. He's been the the bright part of this whole misinformation madness. The controlling the weather one was hilarious, but he put out another one here. You got here late? Ah, it's all good. There's a whole stream. I've been we started four or five hours ago. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with your notification bell turned on so that we don't miss a miss a stream because we we be doing them here. There's no such thing as free lunch. 
So they want to give my kid free lunch down at his public school, and that's pissing me off. That's socialism. I don't want my tax dollars going to socialism. I want my tax dollars going to stuff like the military and the police department. I, hell, I want my local PD to have eight Teslas in a tank. And just the thought of them not having eight Teslas in a tank, it makes me sick. Because free lunch, that's socialism. And if you idiots don't know what that is, maybe get in your Chevy and drive down the road, past the post office and the fire department, the bus stop, the social security office, and stop off at your local library and maybe look it up, you idiots. I say no free lunch. Because you can't tell by my words and actions, but I'm a Christian. And we all remember <laughs> Matthew 14, verses 13 to 21. And when, when Jesus was feeding all the people with the fishes and loaves and maybe a few go and little Timmy walked up and he said, Mr. Jesus, I'm real hungry. And Jesus looked down on him 